I can only be savage around you. superpower what would it be a useless superpower I would want to be able to have coffee on command whenever I want <laughs> but how would it come out I would just, <laughs> it would just appear. <laughs> yes. okay well I started really working out when I was 17 years old and my mom has always been like a really big influence to me and when I first started I kind of took the route of going to the extreme so I because I didn't know what I was doing and I just thought I have to be as skinny as possible and I quickly learned that that's not healthy mm -hmm. and so after my first two years of college I really started studying more of like exercise nutrition just like overall human anatomy because it honestly fascinates me but that's how I really got into it and I saw how when I started doing things the correct way things back my research and stuff I felt better and I saw mm -hmm. it improve my life as far as like my physical appearance my mental state of mind even my spirituality all that stuff and so I was like wow this is such a good feeling I want to share it with other people so a year um, after I graduated from college I was just like I want to change people's lives in any way possible so yeah. training was the best way to do that and it's led me here I think when you have a discipline to show up to the gym not just to show up for a workout but show up for yourself mm -hmm. and you're there for yourself and if you tell yourself I'm gonna do this this and this are you gonna half-ass it? Or are you gonna go all the way? Are you gonna push yourself? Yeah. And so it builds that confidence that, wow, I am strong, I am powerful, I can do these things. And it builds um, that discipline as well. So as far as my mental state of mind before, I felt really weak and I feel myself getting stronger and stronger. And it's been years since I started working out, but it's amazing to see just how I keep progressing. And then spiritually, it's just, that's my place where I feel just one with mm -hmm. everything around me mm -hmm. and so I can just zone out, do what I need to do for me and my life and I just know that whatever's watching over me is there with me. Um, I think they go in tandem because I truly believe that food is fuel for your body mm -hmm. and how you feel, how you perform and everything. I really believe that like, life is meant to be lived and a lot of our culture is based around food mm -hmm. so I never believe in depriving yourself of anything so, I, but I do think they go in tandem. I just think awareness is key. In that. Lucky for me, I've surrounded myself with people who have health and their own fitness as a priority in their life. So we never go crazy, but I do have a good balance. Like I know that if I'll be, for example, tomorrow I'm celebrating St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. I know I'm going to be out drinking all day. So I've done my part this week to make sure I'm hydrated, to make sure I'm just eating right because when I, I know I'll eat bad tomorrow, like mm -hmm. it's not going to matter. So just definitely creating that healthy balance and just being aware of who you surround yourself with. Funny, so like, cause I am one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, my boyfriend definitely got me in the habit of that. So like, every time I have a drink, I'll stay hydrated. I just want to enjoy my time, and I don't want to feel yeah. like crap. And so I don't know. It's just a way to also hold myself accountable. Well, I don't drink often anymore. I would say just like weekends or special occasions or vacation like last week. But um, really, it's not an all day thing for me because I hate feeling weak. Yeah. And I know that if I do that to myself, I would be kicking myself in the butt. So mm -hmm. whenever I go out and do things, it's always centered around either a special occasion. So it's just a couple hours in the, during the day or in the evening. Mm -hmm. But it's never like an all day event for me. I think I would like die if I did that. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. Same. <laughs> so. Yeah. I have all sorts of cravings. So <laughs> recently it's been like mellow mushroom pizza with ranch, but like the buffalo chicken pizza. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow never wants to get it because he says it's too expensive, but I like to splurge and put all the ranch on it. <laughs> well, no, and donuts. Donuts always. Uh, donuts are, what's your favorite donut then? Oh my god. Anything from Sublime, definitely mm -hmm. the Reese's one. Yes. And the one. Have you had the s'mores one? Kai's only likes the uh, swirl, the ones that like yeah. swirl around. Yeah. I don't know, that one's kind of boring. Yeah, I 
didn't really like that one too. And he likes those, the, the honey bun looking one. Yes. Yeah. Have you had Honoré's? Okay, so Honoré's is in Buckhead. Or there's two locations, I think. West Side and Buckhead, basically the same place. Yeah. Um, it's across the street from Fit Nine. Okay. And it's like a old school, like bakery type deli feel. Their cream is not good. So like just get a plain donut or yeah. get the donut holes. Okay. It's the best like just baked, fried, you know, like the, <laughs> okay. We're obsessed with food. Yes. It's fine. It's, it's totally fine. Uh, it's, yeah. So it's like the best dough. Anyways. So <laughs> what's your favorite go-to healthy meal? Um, ground turkey, rice, and vegetables with teriyaki sauce. Like I think I eat that every single day except weekends. Wow. Every single day. So do you, five days a week, you're clean, like? I'd say six and a half. Okay. Um, just because that's how I like to eat. Mm -hmm. And like I said, like, if I know I have something going on during the weekend, oh. which is almost every weekend, um, I like to kind of eat clean during the week. Yeah. But clean for me, and I know that looks different for everybody. So. What does clean for you, like, actually mean? Um, I don't like things that are extremely processed, mm -hmm. so like anything that has artificial coloring or preservatives or was made in a factory. I know a lot of things are, but like I'm really picky about brands, and so anything that's like that, but again, I like to enjoy what I eat, mm -hmm. so I never make anything boring, unless it's my same ground turkey rice and vegetables, because <laughs> that guy's <laughs> boring. It's really good. <laughs> but yeah, so um, anything that makes me feel good and that's taken a really long time to find it's mm -hmm. taken me since i was a teenager so okay. i'm still finding it too um i would say it. like people are like i'm low carb no <laughs> your brain needs that energy it needs those carbs and it needs those carbs to keep you functioning and keep you alert and mm -hmm. all that stuff so every time i hear someone in the gym or anyone in passing saying i'm not eating carbs i'm like Carbs are vegetables, they're fruit, they are in the air, they're everywhere. Uh -huh. You really should not avoid them. Maybe be mindful of what carbs you are consuming, but don't cut them out. I would ask them why they're doing that, mm -hmm. where they got this information, mm -hmm. and if it's working for them. Okay. Because I think when they reflect and they're like, wow, I have been like less energetic, I'm drowsy, I have a headache all the time, I'm like, that's where I can step and be like, hey, well, you know, X, Y, and Z, give them information that I know mm -hmm. and things I know have worked for me and for my friends and my clients. Yeah. Because I never want to come from a point of saying, you're wrong, you're wrong. Right. I would rather have them think about it, reflect, and then realize like, oh, I could be doing this a better way. That's more sustainable because I'm all about building healthy habits. Right. Nothing is ever a quick fix. Awesome. I like that you just said building healthy habits. So I read Atomic Habits. Have you read that yet? No. Um, and it's all about just like, Literally, just building a habit. Um, I'm a big supporter of goals. So mm -hmm. with goals, obviously, there's steps to achieving the overall goal that they've set for themselves. Yeah. But I always say start in baby steps because if you've never been in the gym before and you want to go balls to the wall and go six days a week, that's not going to last. So I always say, like, work fitness into your lifestyle, not your lifestyle into mm -hmm. fitness. So praising behaviors like you know, if they make it to the gym twice a week, that's freaking awesome because that's two more yeah. times than they were yeah. prior. So um, I think just having them start with baby steps mm -hmm. because then after X amount of months, they see, wow, I'm now going to the gym four days a week. This is what I'm doing. I'm more active even when I'm not at the gym. So definitely, like I said, just baby steps because if they go too hard, too fast, they will burn out, they'll get discouraged, and then they'll never step foot in the gym for a while. Fitness. Um, I would love, this is crazy, it's always been a dream of mine. I've always wanted to be a model for Nike. Is that crazy? I've, something I've always wanted. Yeah. So that would be an overall goal. And I just honestly see that happening in like some time, not anytime soon, but yeah. I would want to be more established and have a brand. But definitely being with a brand such as Nike, that's everywhere and it's amazing. Yeah. Um, being a model for them or maybe being a sponsor to you never know. <laughs> I'm not athletic though, so I don't know what I would do. You're not athletic. <laughs> you just don't do sports. True. <laughs> and then, oh um, life. I would love to live somewhere outside of Atlanta for a while. Mm -hmm. 
Um, my boyfriend and I are moving in together this summer. And so that in itself has been a big goal for me because love is very important in my life. And yep. now that I have someone to share that with, we have so many goals of our own that I'm already looking forward to those. And definitely just traveling and not being confined to where I live. Where I've been, Miami. <laughs> like, don't say Miami, but <laughs> um, I but I would love to go to South America. Mm -hmm. I studied at Spanish in college, and nice. so I became fascinated with just like any sort of Spanish culture, and like cool. I've always wanted to go to South America just to either hike or go to the beaches or yeah. just explore like the cities. But thanks. 